Prince Edward Island National Park is known for its sandy beaches and warm waters. Thousands of visitors come each year to experience this exceptional place. But did you know that Prince Edward Island National Park is much more than a beach? It's also home to beautiful wetlands, freshwater ponds and streams, and pleasant forests. In fact, the woodlands of PEI are considered part of the Acadian Forest Region, which covers Canada's maritime provinces. The Mi'kmaq people call Prince Edward Island Epiquit. For thousands of years, they lived off the land and sea, harvesting from the original forests and taking only what they needed. Today, forests continue to provide the Mi'kmaq with resources, such as birch bark, spruce root, traditional medicines, and food resources. When Europeans first settled on the island, they selectively cut trees for shipbuilding, firewood, and lumber. They chose the best, tallest, and strongest trees, and the newly cleared lands were used for farming and for building settlements. When Prince Edward Island National Park was created in 1937, most of the parkland had been previously used for farming. These former fields have since been overwhelmed by fast-growing native white spruce, with room for few species typical of the Acadian forest. Because of the dominance of white spruce, today our woodlands lack diversity. A truly healthy forest could naturally reseed the Acadian tree species. Parks Canada is working to re-establish these woodlands to a more natural state through its conservation and restoration program. Their focus has been to increase the diversity of the park's woodlands with species typical of an Acadian forest. An Acadian forest could be, I guess, described as an uneven aged, um, hardwood dominated forest. On your upland sites, you would have sugar maple, yellow birch, beech. You'd have a, a few red oak and you'd also have white pine. On wet areas, you'd have black spruce, eastern larch, and red maple. By creating a continuous forest, we decrease forest fragmentation, which is good for wildlife. We improve the structure of the forest because we can plant vegetation at all different heights. Uh, and, and then they will perpetuate itself and provide seed sources as we move forward. Parks Canada uses low-impact forestry methods and tree planting to promote species diversity. We have concentrated on sites where former park infrastructure has been removed. The recovery of these sites is an important piece of the puzzle in restoring the ecological integrity of the park. By doing so, we reduce our infrastructure footprint, improve the natural habitat, and increase species diversity. Usually when a site has develop, been developed for visitor experience, there's uh, infrastructure put in, like the buildings above ground, but there's also a lot of utilities and services underneath the ground, be it water, electrical, sewer, etc. So it, it's a very unnatural impediment to the natural environment. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of things that have to happen prior to restoring that site by planting vegetation. If we can be successful in reintroducing species that are characteristic or representative of the Acadian forest, put them, those species in appropriate spaces, provide the structure that as these species mature and self-seed down the road, in speaking long term, hopefully the forest will be able to perpetuate itself and protect itself or, or buffer itself against things like climate change, etc. Parks Canada has not been doing this work alone. We consult with local Mi'kmaq people to better understand and honour traditional forest uses and values. Recently, Mi'kmaq elders have led Parks Canada staff in the blessing of planting projects with a smudge ceremony and prayers. Parks Canada has also involved youth in these projects. The Girl Guides and UPEI Environmental Studies students have helped with tree planting. With their assistance, Parks Canada staff have planted more than 35,000 trees in 2017 alone. From the park perspective, it's great to have people on board who are interested and take a vested interest in what we're doing. It, would, it gives them a sense of ownership and stewardship. And then as we move forward, these people can then be the next generation of park stewards uh, and protecting, looking out for the park. This is truly a long-term endeavor. 
Parks Canada is working to improve overall forest health by encouraging species diversity within the forests of Prince Edward Island National Park. We want to provide a living example of our original forest heritage for many generations to come. To learn more about forest restoration work and to find out how you can help, visit our website, parkscanada.ca/pei.